Yeah, these, these don't work very well, but I'm not exactly surprised. Oh, hey guys, it's me, Douglas, and I can see you, but not, not in the dark. Yeah, see, I made these night vision goggles, but they don't work very well. Yeah, I made them myself out of, well, just like craft supplies that I had at my house. And I made them because I wanted to be able to see in the dark, but I don't know if you know this, but real night vision goggles are like super expensive. And yeah, so I made them out of craft supplies. And yeah, so I made them and I wanted to use them to be able to see in the dark. Because I don't know, that seems like it'd be a cool thing to be able to do. And I wanted real night vision goggles, but I had my dad help me look online for how much it costs to buy real night vision goggles. And it's like crazy expensive. Like, I could not believe how expensive real night vision goggles were. So I was like, well, I'll just, I'll just make my own. And I've seen that they've got, you know, like the green lenses on them. And so I got some green lenses here. And I built them, and, and then I turned out the lights, and, and yeah, sure enough, I couldn't see a thing. But that didn't really, like, surprise me, you know, because I, I made them myself, and I don't, I don't actually know how night vision goggles make it so you can see in the dark. It's just always, I've just always seen that it's green, and so I thought, you know, green would help me see in the dark, but, but it didn't. But it's funny because if like, if I went to you and I said, guys, I tried to make these night vision goggles and they didn't work, you probably wouldn't be like, oh, wow, weird. You're probably thinking, well, yeah, you know, night vision goggles are like a precision instrument and you just made this out of, you know, craft foam and, and some old plastic. And you'd be right. That's why it doesn't work because I made it myself. It's still cool. I'm still going to, you know, play with it. And the thing that's funny is that it seems so obvious, but, but this sort of thing happens all the time with Jesus. And here's what I mean. So like, like Jesus is God, right? He is in charge. And so what he says goes. And I think that there are a lot of people who like the idea of Jesus, but they don't like all the stuff that he says or all the stuff that he says that we should do or not do. And so they try to like make their own Jesus. Right? They imagine in their head a version of Jesus where he agrees with everything that they already think. And so they worship this, this version of Jesus that they made themselves. And then they're surprised when they feel empty inside. They're like, man, I don't know what happened. I followed Jesus and, and I just, I feel empty. And instead of saying, maybe there was something wrong about trying to make my own version of Jesus. Instead of saying that, they... They often say, God isn't real. And that'd be like me, you know, making these night vision goggles and them not working and me saying, oh, I guess there is no such thing as night vision goggles. No, I, I know there are night vision goggles. I just didn't want to pay thousands and thousands of dollars for some. And so when my pretend goggles don't let me see in the dark, I'm not upset and I'm not surprised. But for some reason, when we make our own Jesus and this fake Jesus, this pretend Jesus that we made ourselves, when he, or it rather, lets us down, we're like, there is no God. That doesn't make a whole lot of sense to me. And yet I see it time and time again. And I even, I even do this in my own heart, where I'll like try to like make Jesus agree with me, right? Where I'll try to like make my own Jesus and it doesn't work. Because like, here's the thing, Jesus is God. And God is perfect. And I am not. And you are not. And they, you know, everybody in the world are not. None of us are perfect except for God. And Jesus is God. And we don't get to choose who God is any more than I can choose who you are. And so if we find something in scripture that we don't agree with, we can't just pretend that that doesn't matter, right? We can't just pretend that the only parts of the Bible that matter are the parts that we agree with. If I find something in scripture that I disagree with, I'm the one who's wrong, not scripture. The Bible is God's word. And bad things happen when we say, yeah, I don't believe this thing that the Bible says, and Jesus doesn't either. And I love Jesus. I follow Jesus. No, Jesus is God. God is perfect. And the Bible is God's word. When you try to decide, you know, for yourself who Jesus is and what he says, you're making an idol. And idols aren't real. If you follow a Jesus that you made yourself, 
he will be just as helpful to you as these night vision goggles. These aren't night vision goggles. And the Jesus you make yourself is not Jesus. Salvation from your sins. The ability to live and love well. The fruit of the Spirit, you know, love, joy, peace, patience, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, gentleness, and self-control. These things only come from the real Jesus. And if you want those things, don't try making your own Jesus. So my challenge to you guys today is that instead of trying to make your own Jesus, that you would follow the real Jesus. And that you would pick up your Bible and learn who he is and what he says. And then follow him. The Bible says that if you believe in Jesus, you will have eternal life. But that's talking about the real Jesus. The Jesus who is God. The Jesus who died for your sins. The Jesus who, through whom, the Jesus who made everything and who everything was made for. If you follow a fake Jesus, a made up Jesus, you get nothing. But if you believe in the real Jesus, you will have eternal life. And if you follow the real Jesus, you will find wholeness and and power and fulfillment and everything that you need to live the way God always intended you to live, to live your best life. And here's another thing. You know, sometimes we try to make our own version of Jesus and that doesn't work very well. But sometimes other people have made their own version of Jesus and then they try to sell you that Jesus is the real deal. That'd be like me, you know, taking these night vision goggles and being like, hey kid, you know, you want to buy these night vision goggles? Only 10 bucks. And people don't usually present fake Jesuses in that way. But if you are someone who has felt like God isn't real, I would challenge you to reconsider because it might be that the Jesus that was presented to you isn't real. You know, it might be that you went to a church where people were hateful and and they had none of the fruit of the spirit, but hated people in the name of Jesus. And you say, well, if God is real... Why would these people act like this? Jesus must not be real. Yeah, if that's you, I'd I'd really challenge you to reconsider. I'd really challenge you to pick up your Bible and find out who Jesus is. Now, like I said, it's real important that you not try to make your own Jesus. That's not what I mean when I say find out who Jesus is for yourself. But if you pick up your Bible and you really go looking for Jesus, you're going to find him. And there's a big difference between looking for Jesus and making your own Jesus. If you look for him, you'll find him. If you try to make your own, it will let you down. 100%. We can't make Jesus. Jesus made us. And I get it, you know, because like following Jesus, the real Jesus, is hard. It, it costs something. You know, it might be that it might be that if you follow Jesus, there will be, you know, friends or even family members who will not really like you anymore. If you follow Jesus, there might be something in your life that you really love that you have to let go of. You know, something that you didn't really think was sin, but it turns out it is, and you need to step away from it. Following Jesus is hard, and I think that's why people make their own version of Jesus, right? Their their own version where it's like, well, I I like a lot of these bits, but these hard parts, I'm just going to not deal with that. You know, it's sort of like, like me when I was looking up When I was looking up night vision goggles, it's like, whoa, I don't have anywhere near that kind of money and I don't have the kind of patience that it would take to get that kind of money. So I'm just going to make my own. But these don't work. And neither does a Jesus who isn't Jesus. Following Jesus costs. It's hard. But it's so worth it. Because he's the only one who's real. When we follow Jesus, we will have wholeness and and a fulfillment and a joy and a peace that that you just cannot have without the real God. If you want real love and real joy and real peace and patience and kindness and goodness and faithfulness and gentleness and real self-control, you can only get it through the real Jesus. Instead of making our own lifeless, fake, pretend versions of Jesus, let's follow the real Jesus. Hey guys, I hope you liked this video, and I hope you liked my night vision goggles. You know, they're kind of, they're still fun, even though they're not real. It's okay to pretend when you're, you know, just like playing with toys and stuff. I'm not saying that it's wrong to pretend, or it's wrong to, you know, make things yourself. But following Jesus is not something to pretend about. And Jesus is not someone we can make ourselves. He is. And he is God. 
We don't make him, he made us. Jesus is not make-believe. Jesus is real. If you make a make-believe Jesus, that is make-believe. But that doesn't mean that the real Jesus isn't real. So I really do hope that instead of making your own version of Jesus, that you will follow the one true God. You will follow the real Jesus.